A clip from Monday's episode of The Five on Fox News is going absolutely viral right now because during a discussion of Trump's real estate legal woes, things got personal between the hosts Jessica Tarlov, a Democrat, and Jesse Waters, a Republican. But people don't want to vote for a convicted felon, and I think he needs to be careful about that. He still has a lot of cases pending against him. Isn't that the whole point of this, though? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then the also, it's so well, people, you don't, vote, it's so like people no, don't vote for a you, felon. It's a, it's a circular right. argument. Yeah. But if you, but that's making it out as if the man didn't do anything wrong. And well, the average no real estate, yeah. the no average victim. real estate investor isn't inflating the worth of their you, you real estate. Okay. Okay. You don't know anything about real estate, that's that's Jessica. Okay, you rent. Look at that building right there. <laughs> Trump owns that building. Take a look at the entire Manhattan skyline. Did you skyline. actually just say Trump that? Trump owns <laughs> all of these beautiful properties. He's built these things. What has Joe Biden He's put built? His name Joe on a Biden bunch of has not have built up. anything, Jessica. Whoa. He hasn't even built a charging station. Okay, this man is responsible for thousands of Americans being hired and millions of dollars being made by banks, by investors in this great city. Donald Trump has. We're great. I mean, he thinks it's great representation. He is being given due process. He's gotten almost all of his requests from the Supreme Court down to the state courts. OK. And what you What's just said, point? beyond the incredibly rude way that you began about the fact that I rent my apartment, yes, um, is basically giving him carte blanche to do everything from storing classified documents and flouting subpoenas and not returning them to fomenting an insurrection after he lost an election she by millions funny. of votes. He's not charged with that, is he? What, well, I, but what the, I'm saying, what I'm saying Jessica, what I'm saying is there's no victims in any of these cases. There's a lot to unpack here. But first, I'm Brad Palumbo, and welcome back to Mediate. You're your home for commentary and coverage on the intersection of media and politics. So first, I want to give Jessica Tarlov a shout out because honestly, she's one of the only Democrats that appears on Fox News. She goes 4v1 on the show The Five against four right-leaning opponents on a right-leaning network with a largely, although not exclusively, right-leaning audience. And whether I agree with the things she's saying or not, you just have to admit it, she does a pretty good job of holding her own on the network. And that brings us to this drama that's going viral. They're essentially arguing over whether the things that Donald Trump is accused of doing in his New York fraud case, like allegedly inflating the value of his commercial commercial assets constitute criminal behavior or are actually just a routine practice that real estate moguls do all the time. There's a legitimate debate to be had here, and some people who are heavily involved in real estate argue that what Trump did is completely typical. I can't ultimately answer that question. It'll be up to the court system and our legal process to decide. But what I can say is that whether Jessica Tarlov rents an apartment or owns a home has literally zero bearing on this question. I mean, she could have studied up on on it and researched it and prepared to discuss it regardless of whether she owns a home or not. I'm sure that Jesse Waters routinely prepares for and covers and discusses things that he doesn't have direct firsthand experience in, but his perspective on those matters is still legitimate, it's still worth taking seriously. Also, even most people who own a home still don't know anything about complicated commercial real estate dealings. So whatever point Jesse Waters was trying to make in this clip, it just fell totally flat for me. It's also possible that he was just trying to make a joke and that it came out wrong. Regardless though, The Five is one of the most popular shows in all of cable news and millions of Americans turn to it for their perspectives on current events. So we'd all be better served if they could stick to substantive discussion and ditch the personal digs. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you got a kick out of this video, don't forget to like and comment with your thoughts and maybe even consider subscribing and sticking around. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.